This is just to show you how to create some of these assets. If you're looking to creating some assets for yourself that you can store. Now I've brought these in and if you click on this main menu. So this is the overall main category. So you have this main category and inside the category there are uh, what we can call subcategories. And you can create quite a few subcategories in this. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can start from scratch. So what we do is we go to the assets palette. If you don't see it here, you can go to window and under studio, there's assets there. I'm going to just disable this. You'll see it disappear. And if I bring this back, go to studio and click on assets, it comes back there. Now it comes back exactly where you docked it the last time. My apology if you're seeing some of these uh, areas uh, sort of slightly blurred. I think it's some window setting because it's not only in this program there's in a few other programs that it happens i'll have to resolve that once i click over it it kind of clears up okay so the principle behind creating the assets is that you you can take something from your um, working area and move it into that area and it's saved as an asset that you can reuse over and over so once like this if i come in here if i want to use this i pull it in there and I have that asset or if I pull it in there I'll have that asset to utilize. Um, I'm going to show you how you create it and then I've done a tutorial previously where I show you, you how you can color items that you place on your um, working area and just go have a look at that it's called I think uh, magic color in affinity design or something like that uh, but if we try it out here now um, Remember, just, just a, a sort of a recall on that, uh, that video that I did was that if you went into file and opened a particular file in here, it wouldn't work uh, to use that technique. You have to place it over here. So in this case, we, although we dragged it across, it's like placing it. But there's something that's going to happen if we go and immediately choose the color. Uh, let me show you if I do that. It covers that. Uh, Facebook if that we have on there and the reason for that is it treats this whole object here as one group so it colors immediately and I go control Z what you're going to do is when we're using any of these assets is realize that to form one of these assets you have to create a group to drop it in here so when you pull it out it's still in a group and the only way of, of uh, adding the specific uh, area change is to ungroup this so you can click here on ungroup or right click and go to ungroup or even go to your your layer panel and click ungroup over here okay so once you ungroup it it separates the two elements that's if it's been grouped and most likely when it gets placed into the icon area it, it has to be grouped else if it's not grouped i'll show you what happens just now they go in it as as independent items so once you have ungrouped it now you can go and change the color or even select the F and change that color accordingly okay so let me show you right from scratch how it all works and then that would make more sense so to start off we we're going to start with a a new major uh, or new category a, a super category and then subcategories under that so when we now assets place there we can click here and say create a new category when we do that by default it's just called assets okay to change the name there we'll go back in there and just say rename that category and let's call this youtube assets okay so that's our major one by default also it puts in a subcategory immediately in there and we can go and change that subcategory we can add many others but i'm going to go onto the subcategory click over here and say rename and we will just call this youtube okay so we clear on that that the the one is the main category and this is a subcategory we could create another subcategory by just going in here and creating a subcategory when we do this and by default it will call it assets again and we can rename it let's maybe do that click there there's assets we go there and rename that to um, let's call that Twitter okay. so here we in this one here I'm going to be on this area 
let's create a YouTube goodie okay we're gonna go there and make that red and just draw in a simple triangle I, I don't know what the YouTube logo looks like exactly now I'm going I think it's something on this level yep so I'm gonna select all of that proportions are nowhere near correct but let's just go I'm gonna center it there and center it in the middle okay, I probably just want to move it more like so and maybe make the arrow there okay now like I said if we're going to be moving it in here I saw somebody select the thing and drag it across mine doesn't seem to work if yours works I've got 1.7 so maybe that's a quicker way by selecting it and just dragging it and hovering over here but in my case um, what I've got to do is I've got if I go now these are two independent components if I go to YouTube and I say add from selection it's going to bring it in as two independent uh, particular units okay so I'm going to first add it by just if I go let me click out there I'm selecting everything I go to the YouTube one where I want to drop it in and add from selection now I've got to click the pop down menu here and you can see what happens it brings it in as two independent units so the key is is to group it before we drop it in here so it knows it, it has to stay together to remove it here we just hover over and right click and say delete yes hover right click delete okay so here now we can either go control G right click it and say uh, can we say group here yes group or we could go to select uh, or layers and say group there there's different ways of doing that but I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller then I go to YouTube and I'm going to say add to selection or add from selection when I do that there you can see the icons in if I delete this and I just drag it across I have that item over there okay so if it was Twitter I'm not going to create a Twitter I press alt and drag um, and shift to constrain it so I can just put it neatly there and I'm going to just oops can you see this is what happens how I explained if we want to recolor it um, we've got to separate the two as I showed you it has to be grouped to place here so when you pull it out you got to ungroup it first let's click ungroup here click off there and then do the selection of the particular item you want to change let's say that is Twitter's uh, logo which it definitely isn't we select again and then we will say group okay then I go to Twitter and I can say add to selection and it will be in there if I select them all and delete now we have these in and I can just go across and drag and use them in my design features so this is a excellent way in creating it if you have a lot of icons that you get from something like free pick that comes as an EPS file or vector art uh, it will be great for you to bring it on here make sure that the component is selected um, group together the specific stuff and then you drop it in and you create your own assets from that this is what I've done here with uh, social media icons I've done it there and I've done it with SM icons all of these came in a vector art and then I've just for, oops, for example here when it came to the snapchat one I selected it came in as independent the little circle and the little spooky thing inside I selected them grouped them and then move them across here now you'll see something interesting that I just want to mention if you hover over this here it says snapchat okay if you hover over here it won't say anything it just says group by default it just names everything group so let's go back to where we were working with the YouTube assets if I hover here it says group it says group so when you create an icon and build it into your um, subgroups over here it is advisable to rename them how do you rename them you right click on them and you say rename asset and let's call that YouTube okay and if we go in the year right click here rename and we'll call that Twitter okay the reason for that is if you're in this main group and you go and search if you have tons of them here and you go Twitter look what happens it will start filtering it out for you so it's important else you're going to find let me just go back to this one here um, not in there but in there you see it's already 
filtering on Twitter else if you want to go in this and you want to find something if I want to go LinkedIn I wouldn't know where it is but if I go YouTube I've done it on the YouTube one so they've all been even if they called YouTube all of them the same at least it will filter out fine I don't think you need to go to the level of going YouTube red YouTube black kind of thing okay so important to label it so that when you have a pack of assets like this you can quickly go to it I can come in here and go WhatsApp then I know these are the ones that I use drag if I want to color this I know it's all in a group ungroup it okay and then I oh that's still all selected so then I unselect and select those two areas and whoops let me see I've got to go there and select there shift select there let's see am I selecting there and there okay there we go okay so there I can change those colors um, and if I have to move them back into that area then pretty much I've got a group go in there and say add selection again add from selection okay so we get that the, the labeling of it being important for creating big packs and then when you're done with it um, I'm going to use a pack that that it comes with this pack comes with uh, affinity as a standard if you drag this same principle comes there you've got it go and say ungroup select off there and select the area you want to change the color of and that's pretty much how you do it now once you create these assets it's advisable to go to the area here and to export these assets so you can keep them secure you can save the asset file independently because if you're moving onto another computer you can just import them there let's just have a look if we go on to these here if you go onto the subcategories you'll see you're unable to export them they all become part of the main categories that you are exporting create and export go and say export assets go save those asset files here maybe we should just do that and see what goes here I'm going to just call this uh, just call this Rory okay and then I'll come in here and let me just go and delete this category yes okay and I will go delete this category I'm going to delete all the ones that I've created and SM, let's do that I'm sure that it will um, I'm sure that it will not create a duplicate of this but I won't remove the, the one that it comes with so if I go here and I'll say let's import assets go there say open here we go let's go check it out again the main ones okay so I've just shot myself in the foot there that's very interesting um, the ones that I created with all of those uh, icons in there that I took all the time to move it across I didn't save it there so I think what happens is when you export whichever one you are on so let me just create another one and see here so I save you the time of losing everything so if I come in here and I'll say let's um, now let's create a new category and I will rename this my test okay and this one I will say rename this to say Rory okay so I'm going to take this one can I drag it no I still can't do that so what I will do is make sure I've got this grouped go in there and say add from selection so I've got that one there now um, so I'm on this one and I'm going to now export it okay just now what I did is I thought it's exporting the whole lot which it's not so I'm going to go on my test and export this assets and call it my test Okay, that makes sense I don't know why I thought the other of it so if I come in here and I go and delete this category 
okay and I'll confidently go into these icons and go and delete this category because I now think I've got the answer so let's go in there and I'm going to say let's import the category so my test will have that one in it so open there we go it's only those two if I go in there and I'll say import assets Rory there we go okay so that's how it works it doesn't import the entire library it literally will do whichever one you have open that's what it will export and import that makes sense because then you can share individual libraries and not your entire thing together okay so I've learned there now and uh, I've technically lost all my icons that I built up nicely but my loss is your gain in this you don't have to lose your stuff like that so just remember when you export you're exporting what is open at the time and then name it accordingly so name it my SM icons or name it my test okay so hopefully I've covered all the things I wanted to yeah and streamline your workflow by creating icons you're doing and, and layouts and UIs and that sort of stuff uh, create the components build them in there there's a place for that and then there's a place for creating the other components which we called my brain went dumb now symbols okay symbols are used in different uh, aspects where you can create dynamic links links between them but if you're just creating icons like this or components that you use often then put them into your asset layer okay have a fantastic day and god bless